Hi, Ray Bohax here, the successful farming engine man, and I'm on location in Columbia and Ohio at the Firestone Farm Tire Test Facility. These guys know a lot about tires, but what we're going to be talking about today is stopping that tire. We're going to be talking about drum brakes. And I'm going to talk about drum brake service on any drum brake system. I don't care whether it's on a trailer. This obviously is a backing plate and shoes for a trailer or electric solenoid, but whether it's, whether it's a pickup truck, a combine, a car, a truck, what have you, if it has drum brakes, the tips that I'm going to show you today uh, will all apply. Now, the thing that we have to realize is that with a drum brake system, that whether it's hydraulic or electric, as this one, there's a certain amount of energy that is required to move the shoes out against the drum. Now, keep in mind that if there is a lot of friction there, that's a parasitic loss of energy. And with that parasitic loss of energy, instead of you having that energy to stop the vehicle or the trailer, it's being used to move the shoe. And it's very simple to be able to correct that problem. Now, sadly, this is a brand new trailer brake setup, and it's not put together properly. And what I mean by that, yeah, the springs are in the right place, the solenoid's in the right place, everything is in the right place, but they forgot the most important thing. And they did not lubricate the backing plate. So what I'm going to show you today is how you could actually do a brake job without doing a brake job. Not only will this give you better stopping ability, but it'll have the shoes last longer because they will return and not drag. And it's very, very simple. There are, you could use any type of grease, but there are actually application-specific greases for drum brake shoes, for the, pivot, for the slide points. This is an old can of Bendix grease that I have. What you have to do is you have to look at the assembly, and you have to realize that the shoe is going to slide against the backing plate, over here, over here, and over here. And it's also going to work against the anchor, and it's going to work against the adjuster. And if there was a wheel cylinder instead of a solenoid, it's going to work there. If this is not lubricated, then what's going to happen is that the energy, the hydraulic energy from a hydraulic braking system, is going to be consumed just to try to move the shoe against the friction. Now, what you could do is very simple. If you're taking the wheels off to check the brakes on something, and you'll see that the grease is, has dissipated or melted or was never there, you could take a screwdriver and just pry the shoe back. You would, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to do this on TV. You would need two hands. And then, because I have to hold this up, and put the grease behind the shoe, put the grease over here at the pivot point, and then down by the adjuster and obviously grease the adjuster. This will greatly improve the safety of the vehicle or the piece of farm equipment. It'll allow the shoe to actually slide very easily against the backing plate and will allow all of that potential energy to be used to stop that piece of equipment, that car, that truck, or that trailer. If I could be of any help to you with brakes, anything else, any advice on your farm equipment, please feel free to contact me at sfengineman at agriculture.com. And I wish you a safe and blessed day. And please remember to lubricate those slide points. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.